Hello Wargamers and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War with me and Bobblebox as we move on to the next section of the campaign and in this episode we're going to take on Seven Pines and the story is as follows while our enemy is preparing at the outskirts of Richmond for the final strike against the rebel capital we've received an attack to our force south of Chickahominy River at Seven Pines. The rebel initiative seems successful and our line is almost broken at the center. We need to act immediately, reinforce and stabilize our front line. Now I've had a quick look at the deploy, uh, the, the deploy section and we can take six divisions into this, sorry, six brigades into this battle. And I've already prepared the brigades in advance um, and we're gonna take four full infantry brigades. These are the ones I've spent my uh, um, resources on so I've made up four full infantry brigades. I've just filled them up with um, rookie troops um, but they've all got the 19 what is it called the 19 yeah they've all got the M1842 Springfield but I've also got myself a full set of 10 pounders we've got 24 10 pounders and they have got a bit of extra logistics to help them go along and a little bit of extra efficiency they've got that upgrade and I've also got myself a load of rookie horsemen with palmettos and sabres, really good for meleeing in case I need those in my battle. I haven't done anything with the other guys, and I've put them into second corps because only because we can carry more supply into the battle in second corps. As far as my career points, I've actually spent them on reconnaissance. Now, um, if you're playing this as a campaign, I wouldn't recommend spending all your points on reconnaissance like I do, but it helps with the with the let's plays because it means that you guys can get to see more of what the enemy is about on the battlefield. Um, so it makes it a little bit more interesting for you guys. Although as gameplays, I would have probably gone for something a little bit different, perhaps politics or economics or something. But anyway, we've got plenty left as well for for, for future battles. We've got a couple of guys there ready to go in our reserve. And we've got a whole bunch of Springfield and some reboard farmers. And we've even got a bunch of M1855 Springfields in our barracks as well, which we can, we can use shortly. But let's go back to the battle map. map. It's seven pines we're going for. Let's deploy. So we'll stick our six brigades. Oh, four. Oh, hang on. Oh, get rid of that. It's too cool. It's too cool. We want, isn't it? Yep. There we go. Six. There. That's better. Okay. The enemy, if you didn't notice, had eleven thousand troops. I think it's fairly similar to us. So, general, the situation is critical. Our centre is under heavy pressure and will soon collapse. The rebels will attack each split part of our forces and destroy them. Advance a division, patch the line at the centre and stabilise our battlefront. The rest of your forces will take a position north of Chickahominy River at Gaines Mill, where the rebel attack is expected. God's speed, General. So there's our units. We've got our four infantry brigades, our big 10-pounders and our um, cavalry there. A bunch of supplies, a whole load of supply uh, for this battle. Now, we've also got some supplementary troops, which we're not going to be too bothered about keeping alive. But we are going to be bothered about keeping our guys alive and getting them some XP during this battle for the forthcoming battles ahead. So we'll spread our infantry up in a line and we'll back it up with our artillery. And uh, we'll leave our supply near the back. Brewster up there and we've got our um, cavalry at the rear for when we need them. So I think we're ready. We're just going to move all our units forward kind of in a line. We're going to be patching the center ground. We've got um, our units already on the flanks that I assume are going to be getting attacked. So let's start the battle and see what happens. So let's move our units up. I'm going to walk them up. I'm not going to charge them up um, for the moment. We shall walk them forward whilst awaiting the enemy attack. We'll leave these guys in cover for now. These guys are going to be holding the left flank and these guys up here with, their, with some artillery as well are already being attacked um, on the right flank up here. So let's unpause. But we'll also move forward our, oh, we're moving forward our guns. Brewster, you need to go forward. We might as well move our cavalry forward as well and our resupply units as well. So they're coming towards the center here. We've got Hood. And it uh, looks like Robinson's taking some artillery fire as well, but holding okay. So 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to move Br Burnley and Berry to engage Hood. And I'm going to engage Garland here. And I'm going to engage Hood here. And uh, my artillery can engage Hood. And we'll keep walking forward our other guys. So they're charging. So we've managed to rout one of the units, although we've got a bit of a melee situation going on here. We need to try to engage. What we will do is try to save these artillery and we'll move car in to support and we'll need to attack Hood. Um, Palmetto's going back, so that's good. Our guys are coming forward. We shall engage Pettigrew here and here as well. So we've started to engage now as well. Carl's holding them at the line so we can just get these artillery back so they can help out a little bit. So now it's uh, we've got, still got Bernie in there and uh, our guy's holding back Hood and Carl's doing a good job against Rose. We are actually flanking Hood so we should do him a whole load of damage and our 10 pounders are hitting Hood as well. He's going to break real soon. Now we're also flanking this guy and Pender's being, oh we need to pull back our artillery on this side as well. We are being hit on the flanks a bit hard. We've got Hove, Howe out there still doing a good job. Arnold, we've managed to break them in the centre just here. So we've got to take this flag though. Um, so we've got to capture centre. I'll just pause it for a second. Um, we can look at the victory conditions. For a victory, we must hold the centre and inflict at least 5% more casualties than the enemy and for a draw, just to inflict more casualties. But I'm hoping we'll be able to take the centre in this particular battle. So Barry, we need to get back into the battle. So the guns are have been saved. Powell's in quite a nice position there. We'll move him forward to attack Pender and we'll engage Pender as well and move Arnold forward a little bit with Brewster as well. Haven't used our cavalry as yet. Looks like Anderson's coming back into the fray. We'll send Edward forward and we'll send Foreman forward into the centre. Burnley can attack there. Berry can go forward over to there. Right, so the guns are back online. This gun is actually... Oh, we need Abercrombie to come back in to the battle. This guy is going to get completely surrounded. And I'm wondering whether just to bring my cavalry over, we could probably break Prender. There's a charge going into... Oh, no, they've routed. They've routed. That's good. So we've got one hour, 30 minutes. If, if, that's not uh, gameplay time, by the way. That's in-game time to capture that flag. But I think we're doing pretty good. Cavalry are coming around. We might not need to charge these guys. They might break of their own accord. All right, looks like Gats, Garland's tried a bit of a charge. Maybe we need car to move in. Just make sure. Oh, what's this out on the right? They're targeting. We need Beckman up just to cover that. They're targeting something on the left here. I'm not sure what. Let's move Foreman forward a little bit. Okay, so these guys are now routing and they're also surrounded. We've got Hampton down there looking menacing. So we're going to try and get these guys into the trees. We'll move Apple up forwards. And we'll engage Pettigrew with Howe. In fact, we'll engage Pettigrew with our guys as well. And we'll just get into the trees here into a little bit of cover. Okay, back on this side, we're doing okay. You need to engage. You can move up. Our guns aren't targeted. We're going to move my guns nice and forward actually at this stage so they can get a bit closer. Be a bit more powerful. Oh, he's managed to push Hampton back so he can move to the edge of these trees now. Hal's doing a good job. Got quite a cluster of units here now so we're going to need some help. So let's move Arnold forward. Oh, Berry's just come across Hatton's back again. We'll move forward and forward a little bit. Keep our line nice and straight. Got some charging going on somewhere. Or oh, they're just retreating maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, got a bit of a melee going on here. Pettigrew and Howe. So Pettigrew's got the worst of that. Howe's taking some damage but uh, nothing too bad. Arnold is starting to engage. 
Our guns will be back in on the action quite soon. The car's being flanked, so we're going to turn him to attack this guy and we'll just move you up slightly. In fact, we'll attack Reigns on the flank and these guns can fire on Reigns as well. You can poke in front there. So we have taken the flag now. So we have the victory condition set, so the enemy have got to push us out and we'll try and flank in a little bit on this side. And what I'll do is I'm going to send my cavalry down to have a little scout around see if we can find some uh, oh in fact there's Hampton there I was going to say we could try and find some of their artillery to attack there's some artillery here ok we just really need to hold this position now our 10 pounders 26 of them, 24 of them opening up on Hatton now um, now there's some guns there but I think it's worth just nudging forward to attack and we'll send Burley forward just to pressure their guns. You can keep firing on the flank there and Edwards can move up a little bit as well. Oh, in fact, there's Anderson's just made an appearance. Oh, there's another charge on the le right, left here. Reigns, we should be able to deal with that. Reigns has got to be on low morale, surely. Car's broken. Cookie Amber Amber Crombie is being attacked by Hampton. Should be okay though. I think we're all engaging at the moment. Doing a pretty good job. Now the art in this game, I think, having played it a bit now, is to try to preserve your troops as much as possible, especially in these shorter battles, so that they are ready for the bigger battles to come. Because if you keep losing lots and lots of troops, one after the other, after the other, after the other, it's really difficult to uh, keep a big army on the battlefield. We're doing okay at the moment, we're not losing too many units. We are all engaged, let's bring some resupply up to help out our units. Car's coming back in on the fray, so that's good. Yeah, these 10 powders doing a lot of damage. Artillery I think is also if you look after your artillery and keep them, like, get, get some, get three or four maybe really good artillery um, brigades, I think they'll do you really good throughout the campaign. And that's going to be my aim, to go, go a bit artillery heavy from now on. Burley's broken again. This guy, Burns Reigns, is getting a hammering. Carr will turn you in on Anderson, I think. We'll let uh, Robinson deal with Evans, with Reigns. Cavalry haven't really been needed yet. There's a lot of units over here on the right for how to deal with and Abercrombie. But Hood's looks like Hood's about to break. Yep, he's gone. Hood has broken. So I'm going to move Arnold just forward into the tree line. And if we could take this tree line, we can really pressure. In fact, I'm going to bring my cavalry across here. We can we can pressure their guns. What I'll do is we need to just break Hatton now, and uh, our ten pounders are targeting Hatton, which is good. These guys are moving up. Robinson, not sure where he's going. Oh, he's chasing down Reigns. What we'll do is we'll send him over towards the middle now. Bernie can get back in on the battle. These guns are really exposed now. In fact, they're pulling back. Okay. So let's keep moving up. I don't want to give their guns a chance to get back into the battle. Keep moving forward, keep holding formation if we can. Right, we're in a little bit of trouble over on this side, but I think we're kind of okay. We need Appler forward. Hatton's back as well. Right, we need to get rid of Rose as quick as possible so we can pressure the guns again. Let's bring my... Uh, oh cavalry across. Reigns is coming on the flank so we just need to turn Robinson around just to protect our flank. In fact they're charging. Well they're not charging anymore. Let's bring Grant around on the flank. Guns still targeting Hatton. We could do with trying to break Hatton. Well, I'm going to keep Bl Bl Blarney moving forward. Anderson's coming to try to cover their guns. 
and we're going to charge Reigns with our cavalry. Try to get him to break so we can push Ra Ra Robinson towards the middle again. Abercrombie has broken on this side, so we are a little bit thin on this side. But I'm not going to worry too much about that side for now because we are crushing them on this side. So the cavalry are now... In fact, good job the cavalry went in because Robinson just broke. This guy is down on ammo. Let's bring him right forward, in fact, up to the ammo supply truck. Let's bring Abercrombie back in to protect this right flank. So our guys are destroying reins at the moment. So we can bring Beckman now onto the flank. Okay, I'm going to pull this guy, I'm going to retreat this guy a bit. As long as we hold centre ground, we're fine. So we're going to just pull back into the trees there. I'm not too worried about these guys because these aren't our guys. No, I know it sounds terrible, but that's the way it is. Grant needs to do as much damage. In fact, we've caught them. They are now our prisoners. And Grant can head over to the back here, try and catch some of their uh, guns out in the open. Now, if we can try and get some of their guns down. We've got Anderson we need to break as fast as possible, so we'll set three of our brigades on him. In fact, he's pulling back, it looks like, already. Push uh, our Arnold forward a little bit. Looks like how Abercrombie is getting in position in this little town, which will give him a little bit of cover, so I think I can stop the artillery there so they can start firing again. We've got some supply now as Randolph. Our cavalry's managed to sneak around the back now. If we can get into the guns at the back here, we're going to be doing a really good job as Robinson is moving in on their guns as well. There's a charge going on on the right-hand side. As their guns are getting taken out now. Let's move our horses forward, our cavalry. Just keep firing. In fact, I might charge him. Yeah, let's charge him in there. Try and take this guy out, he's blocked. Arnold, can you just sneak forward a little bit? In fact, we'll just hold this line, we'll hold the line here. And we'll attack the guns at the rear. And charge them down with our palmettos. So we could finish now, but we're doing a lot of damage to the enemy. So I think, oh no, I don't want you, didn't really want you to charge. So. Oh, they're engaged already. Let's just try and finish these guys off then. Let's try and do as much damage and steal as many weapons as we can. Let's try and grab some guns. Let's charge in there as well. Right, I don't really want to lose... Oh, yep, yeah, keep on those, keep on those. just finish these artillery off they're down they're down they're down okay I think I might stop it there I think I've done as much damage as I want to or need to so we shall finish the battle there with a victory victory at seven pines very nice battle we lost 4,000 guys and they lost 6,000 just over 6,000 which out of our starting um, 13 grand isn't too bad at all I don't think we lost any guns we lost four guns actually oh, okay but I don't think that was our guns goods this is what's important we captured a bunch of springfield 1855s they're the good ones i thought we might have captured a load of guns because we destroyed all their artillery but it seems not um rescued a few palmettos and a few 1855s as well even though i didn't i rescued 1855s but i didn't actually have any 1855s on the battlefield so that's a bit bizarre anyway Let's go back. I don't think we did too much damage. We've gained a career point, a bunch of reputation, and grabbed some prisoners, which we're able to uh, exchange for a bunch of extra recruits. So go have a look at our second corps. We did lose a couple of commanders, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we didn't lose many men, which means we're going to be able to uh, maybe get, get and hold on to some, uh, to some promotions. Anyway, that's it for today, I think have a quick look at the battle map and we'll be moving on probably to rendezvous because i think with rendezvous 
we need, I've written it down here, eight brigades. So we'll be making up eight brigades for the beginning of the second battle of, next battle of Rendezvous. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this battle and I'll see you in the next one.